Good Good morning, morning, kids. kids. It's great to see you again. And as always, we are so thankful that we can continue to have Sunday school with you through your TV or through your computer on Sunday mornings. Mm -hmm. And we're just so thankful we can still spend this time with you. And hopefully, we'll get to see you in person again very soon. And for those of you who are just coming to our YouTube channel, I'm Miss Denise. And I'm Mr. Brian. It's great to have you with us this morning. So before we begin, let's have Mr. Brian ask a blessing on our time this morning. Absolutely. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for yet again allowing us to come together and just to to worship you and to learn from your word. And, And I just pray that through this lesson you teach us how great your creation really is, Lord. And I just pray this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Mm -hmm. Brian. Well, last week we had talked about how God is so overflowing with so many wonderful things. In fact, we had made a beautiful picture frame a couple weeks ago, and we put all kinds of words that describe to us how wonderful God is. We talked about how he wanted to show us how great he is by making the beautiful creation all around us. He created plants. He created animals. He created the sun and the moon and water and the land. Just like how we get excited to show off all the great things in our lives, God couldn't wait to show off how great he is and by making this beautiful creation for all of us. And in fact, God is the source of all good Things And we read about that in James chapter 1, verse 17. Mr. Brian, could you open up to James chapter 1, verse 17 for us? James chapter 1, verse 17. New Testament, Mr. Brian. Yep, I even had a little marker here. Oh, good job. Okay. All right. Whatever is good and perfect is a gift coming down from us from God, our Father, who created all the lights in the heavens. He never changes or casts a shifting shadow. So as we read in this verse, God created everything, and all that is good, it comes from him. But before we continue, someone has a birthday coming up this week. Can you guess who it is? Uh, Is it Pastor Kirk? No, Mr. Brian, how could you forget your own birthday? No, it's oh, your birthday, I Mr. Didn't Brian. I did forget my birthday. Yay! Give Mr. Brian a wave, everybody, and say <gasps> Thanks, happy birthday. Kids. That's very nice of you. It's his birthday this week. And that is why not only is our table beautifully decorated this morning. I thought but it looked different. It does look different. And But we also have... A little surprise here. Mr. Brian, why don't you pull the cloth off of that and see what's underneath it? Ready? Go! (gasps) It's my favorite cake. Thank you. It's his favorite thing. He loves birthday cake, and it even has your favorite color balloons, green balloons on top of it. I know. This is so special. Thank you. I was excited I found that this last week. So that cake just looks delicious. But, Mr. Brian, we're missing something. We need to invite something, someone to our birthday party. So, who do you want to invite? Hmm. You, you know what? I, I'm just so excited. I, I can't think of any. I, can, I don't know. You can't think of anything, to uh, anyone to invite to your birthday party. I, I just want to invite so many things, I, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> well, Mr. Brian, I can tell you're very excited. So, how about I, I make some suggestions of who we could invite and some party guests we could have at your party this that morning. That would be perfect. Okay, so let's give Mr. Brian some suggestions, and you tell me if you think it'd be a good idea or not. And you kids, too, let us know. Is that a good idea for someone to invite, or is it not a good idea? Okay, so our first thing, should we invite? Lots. Let's see, I can't kinda, wait. Kind of heavy here. Can we invite a rock to your birthday party? A, a rock? Uh, yeah, this rock. Should we invite him to your party? I don't know, because, no, that rock's not going to be able to enjoy the cake. Oh, well, you know what, Mr. Brian? I guess I didn't think about that. No. He can't eat the cake. Uh, well, maybe that wouldn't be a good idea. Um, let's try something else. Okay. Okay. Let's... How about, how about... This is exciting. Uh, some water. I have some water here. I, Miss Denise, you... you... You drink water at the party. You don't invite water to the party. Oh, well, that's true. I suppose we might 
drink it, but it might not make a great party guest. No, I don't know. Uh, okay, let's move on to the next thing, Mr. Brian. Yeah. I... Okay, <laughs> how about we invite something living? Closer? Yeah, this sounds... A... How about... I'll put, them, I'll put them over there for you. How about these flowers? Flowers. Fl- flowers can't enjoy decorations. Flowers are decorations, Miss oh, Denise. Oh, well, you don't... I, I guess they're not really all excited about my decorations, are they? No. Uh, they, they don't really seem to be very excited, so... Okay, you're right. Maybe not a good idea. Now, this next thing, I couldn't bring the real thing with me because it would run around and get fur everywhere. So I brought something to represent it. How about... Sounds like we're getting closer. A cat. A cat. Well... I'll put it over here. Ooh, should we invite this cat to your birthday party? I, hmm. I do like cats. I do too, Mr. Brian. But I, they wouldn't be a very good party guest. They mm. can't sing happy birthday to mm, me. And that's, and that's true. At a birthday party, that's kind of the funnest part. That's true. I, I've never heard Whiskers or Kia sing happy birthday, and cats probably shouldn't be eating cake either they might lick a little bit but i don't think it's healthy for cats i don't think it'd be good for cats okay mr brian well so you're saying that not one of these wonderful parts of creation would be a good party guest not Not, one of them not really not water not rock not animal not flowers or plants no well then who should we invite to your birthday party then i gave you four suggestions well I was kind of thinking people. Mr. Brian, that was an excellent (laughs) idea. Were you kids thinking people, too? I I bet they were. I knew they were. (laughs) You know what, Mr. Brian? I think you're right. I think that people would be the perfect ones to invite to your party. You see, people would be able to enjoy all that we created, the cake, the decorations, party games, everything. They could see and tell us how pretty the decorations are. They could taste and enjoy the cake. They could even sing you happy birthday, Mr. Brian. That's my favorite part. (laughs) People could feel the excitement and the happiness inside of them that the party would bring to them. I don't don't think anything here would really quite get to enjoy the party like people would. It definitely wouldn't be worth the work, that's for sure. (laughs) Yeah, I don't think so. I think the cat would rather just take a nap. Well, you know, kids, just like we made this wonderful party, God created everything in the world, and he wanted to share it with someone who could really enjoy it. That's why on the very last day of creation, he chose to create people to enjoy and experience that creation and to praise God for who created it. In Genesis chapter 1, verses 26 through 27, tells us about how God created the very first people. So, Mr. Brian, back to Genesis. We were there quite a bit. I like Genesis. It's the first book. (laughs) It's the first book. It's the easiest book to find. (laughs) Genesis chapter 1, verses 26 through 27. Tell us about how God created people. Then God said... Let us make human beings in our image to be like us. They will reign over the fish in the sea, the birds of the sky, and the livestock, all the wind animals on earth, and the small animals that scurry along the ground. So God created human beings in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Thank you, Mr. Brian. These verses tell us how God created people to reign or to rule to take care of and enjoy the earth and everything in it. It also tells us how he made people in his image or his likeness or to be like him. That means that he created people to think and to feel and respond to him in special ways that other parts of creation just can't, as we saw in our party example. Rocks can't think, but people can. Plants can't feel love, but people can. And animals can't talk. I kind of wish they would sometimes. That would be fun. But they can't talk, but people can. God wants people to enjoy him by thinking about how special he is, by loving how special he is, and by acting in special ways to show how great he is. 
Just like we can show someone how we love them and how special they are by coming to their birthday party and enjoying it with them and telling them how special they are to us, we show God how much we love him by enjoying all of his creation and praising him for creating it. You know, Mr. Brian, I was thinking about this. When you think about it, when you look all around, it's kind of like we are in one big party all the time. The earth isn't perfect because of sin, but we'll talk more about that next week. But God created the earth to be awesome. When we open our eyes and we look around at creation, there are brightly colored flowers, brightly colored bumblebees jumping from flower to flower. We hear the song of a bird, we hear the trickle of water flowing over rocks in a lake or a river. God put us in this wonderful party. It is a wonderful party. Isn't that awesome, Mr. Brian? It's amazing that he, he thought so highly of us that he wanted to bring us to his party. He wanted to bring us to his party. He invited us here. And what a blessing that is. What a great mm -hmm. creator that we have. So when you, you walk outside this week and you see all the brightly colored flowers and insects and you see the beautiful trees, just think how God created that. And he put us here to be able to enjoy it like we're at a party mm -hmm. with him. So kids, we hope that you enjoyed this morning and we hope that you have a great week and we will see you next Sunday. Goodbye, kids. Have a good week, kids. Bye.